Well, today is Sunday, August the 9th, 2022. I'm here at this St. Mary's, Mary's Catholic Church. Trying to tell them to stop lying because they're on their way to go to hell. They're liars. The Bible says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Good morning, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Not bad. God bless you too. We all need Jesus. We sure do. Yeah, we do. The whole world needs Jesus. Even the Catholics, the Protestants, the Muslim, everywhere. everywhere. Even atheists. I need him too. I desperately need him. Although i am been converted, I'm a born again Christian now. I was a wicked sinner, you know and I'm oh, spreading. Yes, I'm spreading the good news good. to the good to everybody of the gospel. And that's why I'm here. I'm going everywhere, good. even in front of the Catholic Church, of Muslim Church. I just feel like it's my duty as a Christian right now, because a lot of people don't know the truth anymore. They're really, really living in the wrong direction. Jesus Christ is coming back. I don't know how soon, but he said that uh, watch, my, watch the signs and I'm trying and I'm starting seeing the sign coming up where the Bible says about rumors of war. So everybody will go grow coal. What's your name by the way? Linda, my name is Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre. Yes. Nice to meet you. God bless you. And you know what? I want to give you a hug. I just. Uh, I just feel the. Why? Well, you don't have to give me a hug. Oh, can I give you a hug? Big pardon? Can I give you a hug? Well, you can give me a shake of hand or something. Okay. Well, listen, uh, mask on and give you a hug. listen. Uh, good, morning. good morning. How are you? Hello. How are, you? Uh, are you born again? You people born again? Yes, yes. Good. Do you still live in sin? <laughs> you still live in sin? Are you kidding? I think everyone does. Yes. No, we mustn't. We messed up. Like Jesus says, go and sin no more. That's right. So we have to stop sinning. If you're born again and you receive the Holy Spirit, He helps you. He helped, but without him, you cannot fight sin. Yeah, right now, I have to say, I don't sin. I'm in perfect in Christ. You have to be perfect in Christ. If the Holy Spirit is inside of your body, which is this is temple, you know the the story about the temples in the desert and all that. Why, why was that all said in the Bible and in the Old Testament? It's to tell us about the future when Jesus Christ will rise up in heaven. Yes. What what does he leave behind? He leaves behind a, a comforter, a, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So he's the one who's replacing Jesus Christ. He lives and dwells inside of you. And without him, I could not stop sinning. I could not conquer sin. Yeah. Thank God for that. I was a wicked sinner. I'm here to pro profess, preach the gospel to everyone it's my duty as a Christian, as a matter of fact, because I feel like if I don't do anything, tell them to spread the good. That's the problem today. They don't spread enough about Jesus Christ's name. So I'm doing it. I feel like it's, I got it for free. I'm doing it for free. By the way, what's your name? Carla. Carla, hi. Carla, my name is Jean-Pierre. And you? Marion. Marion? Yes. Oh, okay. Nice meeting you. And this, this is your son? tall guy eh? well you have to be born again and Jesus says if you're not born again you will not see or enter the kingdom of God I can't believe that 
I can't believe this is a passage I never knew about it. That's shocking. I mean, in other words, it doesn't mean anything to go to church on Sunday if you're not born again. That doesn't help you. It won't help you. Going to any church, any 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 buildings with walls or priests or preachers who you go to Eucharist still won't help you if you're not born again. I can't believe that. When I read that in the Bible, I said, are you serious, Jesus? Yes. I think he yeah, yes. He is serious, <laughs> serious definitely. <laughs> I don't think he's kidding us, but you know what born again means? Yes. What is it? Yes. Give your life to him. Yeah. Absolutely. Change your life around, eh? Yes. Do 180 degrees. Repent and believe the good news. Yeah, you must be baptized too to receive the Holy Spirit, though. Correct. So uh, you have to be immersed in water, just yes. like Jesus did. I'm. Uh, I it have to. Actually, say that you have to be immersed in water. Well, Jesus was, so I guess it was an example that he wanted us well, to actually, do. it doesn't say that he was. Right? But if he did... He went into the Jordan. But if he did, would not make us to say, this is what I want you to do? If he did, sure. Because baptism, when you go underwater, you die. When you raise up, you raise up like Jesus Christ. It's a symbol to show that you're committing your life. You're dead to your sin. You're dead to your old ways. Yep. That's where you go underwater. Yep. When you come up out of the water, you rise up as a new creature. Yep. That's what it means. That's why it's important to do it that way. Absolutely. Infant Absolutely. baptism is, doesn't mean nothing. I, I don't know if you can say that, actually. Baby don't, have, don't sin. Never sin. That's Baby good. never sinned. Never did anything good. They still need the Holy Spirit. No, they, 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 they don't know the difference. They haven't sinned. How can they, how, how do they need the Holy Spirit? They don't know anything. They don't have any accountability of what is right and what is wrong. Are you telling me that they're born sinners? Of course. So where do they go when they die? Go to hell? Mm -hmm. Well, so, they have to go somewhere. I think a baby is, comes born without a sin nature. Because Jesus says, so and the Bible the says, the Bible says you are born upright. Jesus created us in His image. If He's creating us in His image, means we are holy like Him. If He says we are born in His image, means that we are also saints. We're not sinners. A baby cannot be a sinner. The only time you become a sinner is when you have reached the age of accountability, I know what's right and what is wrong, and you do the sin. Yes, we all are sinners. We all will commit. We will eventually come to a point where we will sin. But we're not born sinners. A child is not a sinner. Just like David says when his son from Bathsheba, when he died, he says, I'm going to go up. I will not go to him. He will not come to me, but I will go up to him. Means that child is, gonna, is in heaven. So a child does, like babies who are born or aborted, they're definitely not going to hell or any other place. They're saved. They go to heaven. Infant baptism. I used to be a Catholic. I'm not anymore. I started reading the Bible and I saw a lot of things that's not... Big part? There's still hope for you. Well, I have hope right now. Absolutely. I hope I don't need to go to any church. I don't belong to any denomination. I belong in the body of Jesus Christ. That's his church. That's his church. But anyway, come to Christ. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. You'll see a lot of things that the Catholic. A hug, Jean Pierre. Love you, and Jesus loves you, and the Father loves you, and the Holy Spirit loves you. And I want to ask you a question. Yes. Was Jesus a sinner? No. No. Okay. Why was he baptized? Why did he baptize? Why was he baptized? John the Baptist the says, John the Baptist says to him, why do you need to baptize? I should be the one who be, should exactly. be baptized. Jesus exactly. says, let's do it as an example of what I want everybody to do. He knew he doesn't need to be baptized. Right. He, he, he did it to receive the Holy Spirit. That's right. It that's, was an example for the rest of us. And that's why yeah. little children are baptized. 
We no. are born with original sin. No, from we're not. Adam no, we're not. And Eve. No, we're not. The only thing we got from Adam and Eve, woman should be bare a child with pain, and a man has to work to yeah. and sweat we, to his brow and, and die sin. and die. That's all the only thing. We're not. We're, we're not guilty from. Heaven. We're not guilty from Adam's sins. He didn't transfer his sin to us. Jesus says we are born upright. What does he mean by that upright? I mean we're not sinners. We also were born con immaculate conceived. It's not just Mary. Mm -hmm. We were born without any sin. We cannot have any sin. We haven't done anything. A baby hasn't done anything wrong. That would not be just for Jesus Christ to pour, put sin on this child when he says you're born in my image. What does he mean by being born in the image of, yes. of God? It means you're like well, him. He didn't create sin either, but there's sin abounds yes. in, in, in the world. And sin abounds in all of us. And no, we don't. We, we're baptized not when, to get rid of that sin. No, no, you don't need to. Not as a baby. Only after you sin. Anyway. God all right. bless you. Happy but Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving oh, to yeah. you too. Yeah. Okay, God bless you. All right. You. Come to Christ. Oh, Mary is I, dead. I, I, I'm here. Mary is dead. No, she's, she's not alive. Not. No, she's here, not. I'll give you something. She's, oh, I don't want it. Okay. No. no, it's a mixed picture of Mary. And there she is with the rosary. Yeah. Anyway, she's not dead. She hasn't risen. There's no places where it says that Jesus said you should pray to Mary. He never said that. He said pray to the Father. He never said pray to Mary. Yes, it's true. It's true. So, but she's dead like anybody else. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead like a lot she's of people. She's not in heaven. Well, and they're well anyway. She's not in heaven, ma'am. And she's not my mother. She'll. She's only my brother. She's my sister in Christ. She will be in heaven. Mm -hmm. She will ma marry and inherit the kingdom of God. Yes, but she's dead right now. If she knew what how people are taking advantage of her and put her in the same pedestal of Jesus Christ. No, Jesus, she would re rebuke. She's not on the same pedestal as Jesus. She's the mother of God. She's the mother of the, Jesus. She's the mother and of Jesus only. She, and he is God. Yes. That's why but you not talk God about the Father. Jesus. But that, no, there's God the Father, God the Son, mm -hmm. and the God the Holy Spirit. Three yeah, and that's one. all she was, just and the mother she, of Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's all but she don't was. Don't you think she has to be special to be the mother of God? The oh, mother oh, of God. Yes, but she, he only used her for that only reason. So do you think Jesus is a selfish God who would just use no, no. anybody? No. No, he because says, he I will not share my glory to he, no one. He prepared her womb. Can you imagine if he's just born to anybody? No. She had to have special grace yes but she'll be in, in her like every other people who yeah. did the, the work of god they have a special grace she, has, she was only highly favored she was not she full of grace very highly favored yes and but not fully grace you know why would jesus pick somebody who's well, not well he has to grace? pick someone he, yes. has to, he has to come like a man he has to be born like I know, us but do you think god would just go to anybody who's not full of grace Come on. Well, he, he picked up a lot of people who were sinners who were on, on the line. Of course, he lived with it's sinners just, because he came for sinners. He came for you and he yes, came for me yes. because we're both sinners he, and we both he, know that. He came to sinners, but he, he did. didn't live with sinners. He only came to the sinners when they were ready to well, repent. Well, he lived with lots of sinners. Look at his fossils. Right. So, and he lived with them. So, he did live with sinners and he ate with sinners. And that's why he came, to save you and to save me. But I don't think they were really sinning. They were as a, uh, as a apostle. Peter denied Jesus. Come on. Yes, but he repent. Yes, of course. You repent. But that's a sin. That's what repenting is no, not a sin. No, but to deny Jesus is a sin. Yes, it is. But he repented. But he Just did. Judas, Judas didn't good. repent. He I went know. and killed himself. So he's in hell right now. I know. Well, he's I not know. in hell yet, but he will be. Yeah. Oh dear God. Yes. Anyways, I got my Are you for at home. Are you uh, for Ukraine? Is that your... Well, of course. Yeah. Are I'm you Ukrainian? Peace. No. Mm -hmm. No, no, but... You, you know, know both sides are wrong? 
The Russians and Ukraine are just as bad, both of well, them. Well, they could, but let's say somebody broke into your house and was fighting with you all the time in your house or your possessions yeah. or whatever. I don't think you'd be very happy. No. What if somebody came to Canada and did the same thing? I would not be happy. You're not supposed to retaliate. No. Jesus says, love your, your love the ones who hate you. Well, uh, pray you for can them. love the ones that hate you, but that doesn't mean you have to sit down and let them wipe their feet on you. But so, yes, but you have to have faith in God to take well, control of it. And, and Jesus I never do, retaliate. And I pray. No, we're not supposed oh, to yes, kill somebody. Uh, we're not supposed to kill. He kicked the people out of the temple. So yeah, well, yeah, that's that's the only thing that he so. did. And that, that's to show that when he's coming back a second time, this yeah. is not coming with a whip this time. He's coming with a sword. Yeah, yeah. To conquer, yeah. he's coming like yeah. a king this time. Yeah. yeah. Well, he came originally as a kin, so anyways. No, he so, came like a baby in a manger. I hope Mother Mary shows you and the Holy Mary Spirit shows you. Mary won't hear my prayers. You. Mary doesn't hear my prayers. You, you know what? And and the, God doesn't try hear it. the prayers. Try it. I've done oh. it before. Okay. I was a well, Catholic before, but anyway. I'm not anymore. I'm, okay. a, I'm a born again Christian okay. now. Okay, well, I asked Mother you know? Mary to wrap you in her mantle. No, she won't. She peace. won't because she, well, didn't. she she's dead. Yeah. She's, she's yeah. sleeping like anybody well, else. That's she because, doesn't hear you. Yeah, no, that's not true. And also, God doesn't she, hear the prayers of the sinners. Oh, yeah. well, Did you know that? Yeah, well, no, he hears my prayers, and I'm a sinner. Yeah. And well, I'm then sorry you're not I have a Christian. To go. You're not a Christian. I am a Christian. If you're a sinner, ma'am, he who, who sins, what does the Bible weak. say? He we who sins is of the weak. devil. Well, You're a devil. The, Isn't that what well, Jesus you know says what? about devil, uh, the Peter? The devil, the Didn't he call him the devil? devil Did Jesus call Peter the, the devil? No. Oh, yes, he get said, behind me, yeah, Satan. Said, yes. said, yeah, well. For, for saying that. Imagine yes. that. And he's not a pope. Yes. He was not the first pope. No, if you're a sinner, yeah, you're of the, the devil, pope. and you're not a Christian. You mustn't sin at all. I Jesus know. says, go and sin no okay, more. But he we also are said weak. to the paralytic man, we go and sin weak. no more, or worse things will happen to you. Yeah, so you exactly. have the to stop is, sinning. We try. We you try. must no, and you must try. not try. You must stop. Yeah, I know. Stop. But sometimes it's not the what case. What happened if you sin and you die instantly? Oh, I know. I know. Well, You'll I be going to hell. Mercy. You'll be going to the no. Lord there's no mercy merciful. after you die. It's only well, before. The Lord is merciful. Not after you die. Mercy yeah. is only given to you while you're alive. Not after you're dead. It's too late. Yeah. It's a point well, of time for a man to once to die, and after that comes yeah, the judgment. Well, so there's oh, no purgatory. Well, well, it's true, but we show still me where it says, have a last chance. Show me where it says in we the Bible there's a purgatory. Last Show me where it says in the Bible there's a purgatory. Well, I'll go look it up. No, there, no way, because Jesus mentioned ten place. times more about hell than 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 well, than, true, than because, heaven. Because you can't get anywhere. He never mentioned. He never mentioned about purgatory. Good How are you? Never Thank mentioned you. about purgatory nice to, to anybody, not even to his disciples. Nice he only mentioned you. about Hi, heaven and hell. Read the Bible. Iliad. Read the Bible to your children. Okay. That's what they need. Good they need the nice words of God. Okay. Yeah, I'm great. Happy great. Easter. Oh, happy, Thanksgiving. Happy, uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving. These are gospel, Bible passage in the Bible. Do you people believe, read the Bible? You're a Christian. You're a Catholic. Are you born again? Are you born again? You know what born again means? You have to turn your life around. Stop sinning. You mustn't sin. Completely stop it. Be baptized to receive the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, you will not see the kingdom of God. Jesus says you must be born. Unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. Happy Thanksgiving. It's, happy Thanksgiving to you. And listen to what I said. Read the Bible. You'll see what... Do you read the Bible? I do, but not enough. Yeah, well, read it all. You need it all. You need the whole bright, the whole console that the bug. The, the, the Bible's read all the time. Yeah. So you would know that from your history. Yes, Catholic. but only yes. But they don't even speak about hell in the in, in the church. Oh, in our church they do. Not they do. Not not too many. Not. Then you need to come to our church. No, I've been to the been to a priest before. Even the priests are sinners. Well, I know. And they should not be Everybody priests. Should be they should not be priests if they're sinners. That's being hypocrite. That's being a hypocrite if you're a sinner and tell others to not to sin. 
Uh, God bless you. Come to Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way. You must be born again. Unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. Does it do you any good to come to the church on Sunday if you're not born again? Hi. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Come to Christ. Be born again. You must be born again. No, you do you sin? Sorry? Do you still sin? Of course I do. Then you're not a Christian. Well, that's not true. You're he who sin is of the devil, that's what the Bible says. You must stop sinning. You can't continue living in sin. Believe and trust in Jesus. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. Amen. You must be born again. Amen. You must stop sinning. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. It's true. You won't make it to heaven if you're sinning. Jesus says to the adulterous woman, go and sin no more. He wasn't joking. You got to be serious. Sinning is very serious in God's eyes. It's an abomination. You mustn't sin. You must stop. You mustn't live in sin. Yes, we're all sinners, but we have to stop sinning. Good day, sir. Are you born again? You must be born again. If you're not, you're not going to make it to heaven. It's not by going to church every Sunday will save you. Yeah. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. He also said in John 3, 3, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. That is quite a shocking statement that Jesus says. We mustn't take, we mustn't take it lightly. We must take it very seriously. If he says you must be born again, you must be born again. It means to receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. But you must stop sinning, though. You can't keep on sinning. If you have received the Holy Spirit if dwelling inside of you, then you can conquer sin. That's right. All Bible passage on the banner. You must repent. That's it. You mustn't sin anymore. I'm here for the Thanksgiving to show to how much I thank God for uh, waking me up, show me the way, the truth, and the life. Without Him, I would have never made it. He was very patient with me. I was a sinner. I'm a converted person. I'm a born-again Christian. That's why I'm here on Thanksgiving Day tomorrow to offer my thanks to Jesus Christ for him to die on the cross for me. Without him dying on the cross, there's no way we would have been saved. The problem is today, not too many people believe or really have that much faith in Jesus Christ. A lot of people think that they say, oh, it's okay to keep on saying, there's no problem, you're still gonna make it. That is a light from the pit of hell. A lot of Protestants believe in that kind of teaching. The doctrines of Calvinists, which says all once say is always say, is a doctrine of the pit of hell. You must stop sinning completely. Yeah. Come to Christ. Come to Christ. You're born again, sir? Yes, I am. Hopefully, it's precious. Do you still? 
You're singing to the choir, buddy. Do you see? Uh, do you still sing? We all sing, buddy. No, you mustn't. You must stop. You can't. No, no, we, I don't sing on purpose. But we are sinful no, by nature. No, if you're sinning, you're doing on purpose. Sir. You no, know no, it. No, I'm not sinning on purpose. Do you lie? No, I don't. mustn't. Okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm here. Do you think do, I will do, lie? Do you like? Do you like uh, uh, charity? Big pardon? Do you like charity sometimes? Do you like? Do I like charity? Lack charity. Do I like charity? Hmm? No, I'm very, very charitable. I'm here. And I try to be terrible all the time, but sometimes we lose yes. our patience. Sometimes we judge. Yes. yes we're we, human. We are allowed I mean, to if, judge. If you're not, if, if you're not human, we you are. must be perfect. No. Yes, exactly. You must be perfect. Go yeah. and sin no more, God said. Yeah. Be perfect like your heavenly Father is perfect. If you said that, anyway, it's mean it's I'm possible. Not, I, I'm going to go worship my God. I'm going to praise in the Stop. power we're of the Holy Spirit. We're not doing any good going into church. If you're a sinner, you're not a Christian. Yes. Well, You're not a Christian. God is my judge, not he you. He who sinned is the devil. Uh, God okay? is my judge, not you. So, I can judge, sir. I can judge. Well, when I see somebody sinning, I can judge. Do you see me sinning? What? If you, you just told me you sinned. Well, I'm a sinner. I told you I'm a sinner. Yeah, well, if you're a sinner, it means you sin. If you're not, okay. if you... Are you a sinner? No, I'm not. I'm perfect in Christ. Good luck. God bless you, man. No, it's not good luck, sir. You don't gamble with God. Jesus said, go and sin no more. Or worse thing might come to you, sir. Worse thing might come. If you die in your sin, you go to hell. No purgatory, sir. It's heaven or hell. You must stop sinning completely. Be perfect like your heavenly Father is perfect. If it was not true, he wouldn't have said it. If he said it, it is true. It is possible. You got to stop sinning. If you die in your sin, you go to hell. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I know it, it hurts, but it is the truth. Too many people believe it's okay to keep on sinning. That's where they're wrong. You got to cop stop completely. You got to be born again. All Bible passage. Yes. Hello, sir, how are you? About yourself? Not are bad. you born here, again? Uh, here to spread the, spread the, the good word. news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. On Thanksgiving, it's a good day to thank God for what he has done for me. Excellent. Are you born again? Definitely. Do you still sin? Pardon me? Do you still sin? Well, you know, uh, it depends on what you mean by that. Well, come in the sink, uh, transgress with the, God's law. I think you, all men sin. In fact, it says that. In we all sin in the all past. Men have sinned in the yes, in the past, but not anymore. You've got to stop. Go and sin no more, Jesus says to the adulteress. Or the paralytic, or worse thing happens to you. He means it. You must stop sinning. Amen to that. You've got to be born again. You know, Amen. born again, turn your life around completely, 180 degrees. I definitely am. Well, you must stop sinning. It'll do you day. no good to come to the church on Sunday if you're as a sinner. He who sin is of the devil, and you're not a Christian if you're sinning. No, it's not going to help you to go to confession. You must repent. Turn your life around. Oh, how many people are so blind and deceived to believe that they can still sin and still make it to heaven. Boy, are they deceived. Do you no good to come to church on Sunday if you're still sinning? Church is there for those who have to stop sinning. It's also a hospital for those who sin, but when you come to church, you must stop sinning. Jesus says, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. Yeah. Oh, Father, Father, even the Catholics are doing the same thing as the Protestants. Even the Catholics are doing the same thing, believe the same thing as the Protestants. You must stop sinning if you want to make it to heaven. You can't keep on sinning. You must be holy.
Come to Christ. Come to Christ. Jesus hates religion. Jesus never wants to have different religion. He only wanted a relationship. Christianity is not a religion. It is a relationship to, to God, directly to God and to His Son, Jesus Christ. Too many different denominations, too many division is not what Jesus Christ wanted his church to be. And he didn't call the Catholic Church his church. It's his body. He is the rock. Jesus Christ is the rock, not Peter. Peter is only the stone. You must be born again. If you're not, you're not going to make it to heaven. Being born again means you got to turn your life around completely. Repent, repent, repent of your sin and forsake them for good. Never to repeat them again. If you're on sin, if you live in sin, you die in sin, you go to hell. He who's a sinner is a devil. You're not a Christian if you keep on sinning. You can't serve two masters. You only serve one master. Either you give up one or the other. Keep to be with Christ only. Follow his commandment, all his commandment. Good day, sir. You born again? Are you born again? Do you sin? Do you still sin? I sin a lot. You mustn't. I cannot stop sinning. You have to stop, sir. You can't keep sinning. You gotta stop. You gotta repent. Repent of your sin and forsake them for good. Okay. If you're a Thank sinner, you. You if you're a sinner, you're not a Christian. Okay. It'll do you no good to come to church if you're a sinner, sir. You have to stop. Okay. Repent, Thank forsake, you. and live holy. Thank you. Live holy. Thank you. Live holy, sir. It's not going to help you go to church on Sunday. Christ is the only way. Eh, oh, how many people are so deceived, thinking they're still sinners. Think that they can still sin and not make do an effort to stop. Well, you're gonna have a root awakening on your day of judgment when you see Jesus Christ. If you die in your sin, you're not going to make it to heaven. You'll be going to hell. There's no mercy after you die. Mercy is only given to you while you're still alive. Mercy is offered to you while you're still alive and there's no purgatory. There's no such a third place. It's, ever, it's either heaven or hell. Jesus never mentions about purgatory to his disciple. Jesus says, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. That's quite a statement, shocking statement. He also said in 14.6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. Yes. No other religion will save you. Not even the Catholic religion. Mormonism will not, will not save you. Buddhism will not save you. Islam will not save you. It's only through Jesus Christ shed blood. That's all it is. Only through Jesus Christ. Come to Christ, believe in Jesus, you must be born again. Jesus says, 
In John 3, 3, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. Born again means forsake your sin, turn away from your sin, stop sinning. Believe in Jesus, come to Christ. You must stop sinning, you can't keep on sinning. Says you believe in Jesus Christ? Yeah, you don't? Gonna meet him one day. Talk to God more than your dog. I could introduce you to the person who created your dog. And God didn't create the dog so he can die for them on the cross. He didn't create them in his image. Mad at the statue as if she can hear you. He's angry of something. He's angry of God. ago today it was the day I was baptized in the Rideau River and here one way to offer you my thanks and appreciation for giving me the opportunity to be able to be born again and be baptized and that you were patient with me to come to that stage Thank you for being patient with me, the reason why I'm here is for that reason. To save them from their sins and their belief. Yes, Heavenly Father, somehow it pleases you. I hope this pleases you, because I hate to do something that you will not be pleased and would find it awful. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to glorify your name. And to make them do the same, to glorify your name and stop sinning. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Let's 
getting there. It's going to come soon. Thank you, Father, for clearing those clouds because I'm finding it pretty cool. And you know how I am. I'm not very good in cold. I'm so thin that I freeze easily. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the sun. Jesus is that powerful. Hey, sir, are you born again? Sir? Are you born again? Yes. Are you still living in sin? Yes, are you still living in sin? Yeah. Well, then you're not born again. Yes. Born again means you have to stop sinning. Yeah. So. If you sin, you're of the devil. You're not a Christian. You know, that's the problem with too many uh, professing Christians these days. Even the Protestants think they can still live in their sin, think they're going to make it to heaven. That's a lie. you got to stop sitting completely. you got to live holy. There's no excuse for sinning. Jesus says, go and sin no more. He really means it. You have to stop sitting. you got to be born again. Be born again means change your life around. Have a good day, sir, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. I'm here on this special day to glorify God, <clears throat> to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to tell to these Catholics what they're doing is not right with God. They have a statue outside there on the front lawn. And that's against the second commandment, which you should not have any graven image or a graving st statues. And here they're disobeying that second commandment. That's an idolatry, my friend, my Catholic friends. That is idolatry. You born again? You gotta be born again. Unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. Where do you people go to to a priest for confession? He cannot save you. Cannot forgive your sin. 
Come to Jesus Christ, your high priest. He can forgive your sins. Priests can, priest cannot. They're sinners themselves. Come out from them. Be not partakers with the sinners. Come out from them. Don't have fellowship for, for, for sin, with sinners. You must separate yourself. Yes, there's a lot of professing Christians these days. And there are many professing Catholics and professing Protestants and different religious denomination. <clears throat> and even they have some dispute among each other with all the different religious denomination. But they have something in common. They all live in sin. They all say that we can still sin and there's no problem sinning, we're still, we're still gonna make it to heaven. Well, that's a lie. You must stop sinning. You must stop completely sinning. You can't keep on living in your sin and expect to make it to the kingdom of God. He who sin is of the devil. You're not a Christian if you keep on sinning. That's your night with the Lord. I love you. Goodbye. I love you too. That's what I'm here for. To tell you the truth. If you need if you need to confess your, your sins, why do you go to a priest? He cannot forgive sins. The only one who could forgive your sins is Jesus Christ, your high priest, not a priest who himself is a sinner. And would that be a hypocrite? Why why do you go see a priest who themselves they do sin? Would that consider being a hypocrite? They must not sin themselves. If they go and teach others how to live and not to sin and themselves they're sinning, they are hypocrites. They cannot forgive sins. Only Jesus Christ can sa save you, can forgive your sin. He's your high priest. Jesus says in John 3, 3, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. You must be born again. Coming to church every Sunday will not save you. Taking the Eucharist will not save you. The only one who could save you is Jesus Christ only. Why do you people disobey the second commandment, which it says you shall not have graven image or graven statues? That is idolatry. That is committing idolatry. Mary is a sinner as well. She sinned also in her life. She said she needed a savior. Mary is dead. She's not the only one who were born sinless. Did you guys know that we are all, all born sinless? In other words, we were probably born immaculately conceived. We are also immaculately conceived. We all were born without sin. The idea of being born in a same nature is not true. That is a lie. Everyone is born sinless. In the Bible it says we're all born upright. We are born in God's image. If we are born in God's image, means we are born without sin. Nobody is born with a sin nature. We're all sinless. Baby doesn't need to be baptized. Baptism, infant baptism is a waste of time. A baby doesn't sin. 
a baby doesn't know the difference between what is good and what is wrong. He hasn't committed sin. He hasn't got anything done good. So he is sinless. The only time you become a sinner is when you're old enough to know the difference between what is good and what is bad. You reach the age of accountability. A baby never sins and never did anything wrong, never did anything good. So there's no reason for a baby to be baptized. Your only baptism is good for those who are, know they have sinned and they need a savior. And that's when they need to be baptized. Baptized in water, immerse in water. Do exactly like Jesus Christ did. When John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ, he baptized him at the age of 30. He was under, he was in deep water, in many waters. He went under water to, to show that you die, and you die to sin, and you become a new creature when you rise up. And you rise up, you are born again. That's what baptism, baptism stands for and what it means. Infant baptism is a waste of time. All the baby is getting is a wet bath. Come to Christ. Mary is not in heaven. She has, is not the queen of heaven. Mary sinned like anybody else. She also had four sons and daughters after Jesus Christ was born. She had sex with Joseph. She was not perpetual virgin. Read the Bible and you'll see what the Bible says about Mary. That's why I read the Bible and it shows me things that the Catholic is not teaching you. It teaches you the opposite of what the Bible says. Reason why they don't encourage people to read the Bible is because they're afraid that you might see something that is against what the Catholic doctrine teaches. Mary was a sinful person. She needed a savior like anybody else. She is not the queen of heaven. She is still dead. She cannot hear your prayers. And those who are sinners, God doesn't listen to the prayers of the sinners. You mustn't sin, you must be holy and perfect. Just like your heavenly father is holy and perfect. He says, be poor, perfect and holy. If he said it, it means it can't be done. If it was not possible, he would not have said it. You could have it. Well, I don't take it back. Believe it what it says. Mary is dead. Your well, thing. your lady is dead, ma'am, and she's not alive. She's not the queen of heaven. God asked women to be, to go and multiply. God never asked you women to become nuns. He says, go and multiply. Get married and have children, raise children. Never mention about a nun. <laughs> you should be out there, find a man, and get married and raise kids. Go and multiply. No reason to become a nun. You must spread the good news of the gospel, raising children. Come to Christ, not to Mary. Mary is not a mediator. There's only one mediator between God and man, and that is Jesus Christ. He's your mediator, your advocate. He's the one who died on the cross for you, shed his blood so you can be saved from your sin, not while you're in sin. A lot of Catholic here keep saying that we're still sinners. We still sin. That is, a, that is, a tri that is not true. This is almost the same doctrine of the Calvinist that says, once saved, always saved. <laughs> Jesus Christ never want different types of religion. He hates religion. All he wanted is a relationship with his fellow man and his saints. And brothers in Christ, brother, brothers and sister in Christ. His church is his body. It is not a building. 
His body is his temple. His body is his church. Come to Christ. Come to Christ. My name is Jean Pierre. Hi, Jean Pierre. I'm Sister Philomena. Yes. You want to read about Mary? I love her very much. I'm in her community. Thank you. Yes. But don't, don't you. Do you read the Bible, what it says about Mary? Oh, a lot about do you, Mary. Yes. Uh, do you read the passage where it says that Mary had four sons and daughters? Well, that's not in the Bible. Yes, it is in the Bible. Definitely in the Bible. And Matthew said. In the Hebrew, though. The word for brother also means no, no, cousin no, no, or family no, no, no. member. Read what the Bible says in its face value. It says brothers and sisters. It doesn't say sinners. Don't change and twist the words. It says directly, strictly brothers and sisters. And even his apostles and all the other people, even his apostles believed that Mary had all the children. She is not in heaven. She's not the queen in heaven. Nowhere it says in the Bible she's the mother. She's in heaven. Jesus Christ never said to pray to Mary. He said to pray to the Father, your Father. He never said to pray to Mary. I believe you're well-intentioned, but what you're speaking is actually blasphemy. No, it is not blasphemy. Your people are blaspheming because you're putting the Jesus uh, lower at the same level as Mary. Yes, that's blasphemy. He's the king of the universe. Mary is not. Mary, Mary is, is not the level of, of Christ. Well, we you cannot put her on the same level. Yes, you do. You worship no, her. You get do down not. on your. I can tell you as a Catholic, we do not. Worship I see Mary. a lot of Catholic get down on their knees and pray in front of a statue. That's not the same as worship. Well, that it's is. Yes, it, the Lord invites us to go on our knees. To what pray. about the second commandment? You should not have graven image and grave statue. Why do you people have statues and image? Why, Why do does you have a picture of your mother or your father? My mother, I don't worship you. her. I don't, don't pray her. her. I don't pray to my mother. The Lord invites us to get each other to pray for I don't pray other, to my so. mother. There's a big difference between a picture of my mother and the, There's no difference my at sister all for us. and Christ. Not at all. Mary is sis my sister in Christ. She's not my mother. She's, She's never going to be me. a mother. She's only the mother of Jesus Christ. That's all she is. She's because not our she's mother. She's his mother. She's my mother too. No, she's not. You don't have a through mother, you only have a grace. father. Why don't you pray just to the father? Why do you need Mary? I did, I grew up going Why do you need Mary then? then? Why do you need Mary? That's all you need she is God. She led me to the Catholic Church. I grew up actually just believing in the Bible well, and the Holy he, Spirit and Jesus. Who and says it was the Holy Spirit? Okay. Maybe it was a, a, a wrong spirit who uh, told you to come to that. Well, I did some research actually on church teaching and I went back to the time of the apostles and the teaching of Christ. And the Catholic Church is the only church that can trace itself right back to the teaching mm. of Christ mm. and the Apostles. No, that's Everything wrong. else that's that came blasphemy. after Mar Martin that's Luther blasphemy. is blasphemy. Jesus Christ is the body, is his church. He's we the are, rock. We are his body. He, he is, is the, the rock. He is the rock. Peter was Peter. only the stone. Peter is not the first pope. Peter didn't even give commandments with all the pastors and all the uh, disciples. He didn't even he didn't even name a success, success, successor after he died. Oh, and I Jesus don't know Christ who called you're him reading, but, uh, the Bible. Okay man. The Bible. That's what I read. That's it's the Bible. You people so don't read the Bible. Well, oh, do you, I read it every the day. Bi yeah. Well, you can't tell us that we don't because we do. Well, then so you don't believe you it. You don't believe it because people. you're twisting the the, the, the words. It's it's not it me. says it's the, the Bible. It says G Mary right? had had other kids besides Jesus Christ. So you don't believe that, eh? I believe that he in what had, the Catholic Church teaches because Christ is founded. Well, I believe the but Bible, also, what it says. I'm also you okay see, you only believe you. about a man made church. I believe about the inspired word of Jesus Christ in the Bible. That's a big difference between you no. and me. You believe no. in man's be uh, uh, no. man made. Yes. That's not it. It is. No. It is. You don't believe what I say, but I can respect you. I was a Catholic before, ma'am. I was but a I was a Catholic before. I'm not sure. anymore a Catholic. That's fine. I'm out of that you know religion. That is a cult, ma'am. That's fine. That but I just cult. thought I'd come and tell you that I can respectfully disagree with you, and I don't appreciate. Well, your I don't respect here to speak disagreeing with you because on the grounds you, of this you, church. this is not. This is blasphemy. You know, what the Catholic we've is come doing. Here to gather and That's a man-made religion, ma'am. It's a man-made religion. I don't believe you. But I can also well, respectfully you will, disagree. You so, will anyways, see it on your I'm glad day of judgment. You. you should not be a nun, first of all. Jesus said, go and multiply. You know what? That's between you him and me. Bit, you and I will not listen to you anymore. But thank you very much for this conversation. Well, uh, and God bless you. And I hope you have a good day. Well, we'll God bless you other, too, okay? man. But wake Hi, up because here. before okay? before, go before, you, before you see Jesus Christ, find out. Yeah, you're laughing about it, eh? 
You're a hypocrite. You're an hypocrite. You turn around and you laugh. That's what you did, eh? You laugh. Exactly hypocrite. That's what you are. Blasphemy. An hypocrite. Judging me and she tells me I'm not allowed to judge. What an hypocrite. Blasphemy to the core. She laughs about it. Big smile on her face. But when you see Jesus Christ on your day of judgment, you will not laugh at him. It's not Mary you're going to see. It's Jesus Christ. You don't even honor Jesus Christ. He's your God. He's your church. He's the one. He's your master. He's your high priest. Priests themselves, they do sin as well. If they're sinners themselves, why do you go see a priest if he's a sinner? Oh my gosh. Uh, you, you, you didn't leave a guitar inside the, you didn't go Big to the pardon? church. Hmm? You didn't leave a guitar inside the church? Why, it, why would I leave a guitar? Like I came to the church left huh? side, no? Why would I go in the church with a guitar? I don't know. Why 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 you ask me that question? Because he looked like you, so that's why. Who who's the guy who looks like you? Oh well, it's not me. I guess the wrong. Are you, Where are you from? What church are you from? I don't belong to any church. I'm a born again Christian. I believe in the Bible. I obey the Bible. Yeah, the Bible comes from the Catholic Church. The one, all the books. Then why? Then church. why did they kill people who want to translate it to an English? Why did they want to kill them? That? Why, if the Bible was written in Latin, why did they want them to to change it and write it in English for everybody to read about it, about it? You know what they did to those people? who want to change the translated from Latin to English, they burn them at the stake. That's the Catholic, what you, what they've done in there. In the, because they didn't want them to know it. They didn't want to, everybody to read the Bible. They just want people to come to their church and we'll ch tell you what the Bible we says. Read, we read the entire Bible during all the year. You know, we have the full Bible, not the, the one that you removed the books from Maccabees that you decided. Partisan Maccabee, decided you know why the books were taken out in Maccabees? You know why? I know why. Why? I know why. Why? Because it was decided that was the church. No, 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 it wasn't Bible. because of man. It wasn't because of man idea. It was because those period of time where those books were read, the seven uh, apocrypha were read, was during the time when Jesus Christ was silent. Was silent. You know, 400 years that Jesus Christ between the last book of the Old Testament yeah. and the first book of Matthew of yeah. the New Testament, there was a period of 400 years that Jesus Christ never said anything to the, to the Jewish people. And that's when history of those books came along. Not once in those, those books it says, says the Lord. You don't go to any church? You don't worship? You don't worship I worship God? God. By who? Jesus By yourself? God. I that's worship not what Jesus God Christ. Wants. He wants community. I am a community with other fellow fellow okay, citizens. It doesn't have to be in the building. It could be in the house or anywhere. It could be. It could, it could be, be anywhere. Receive the body and blood of Jesus. The I believe in. John, read John six carefully, man. You're totally wrong. He said, "If you don't eat my body, drink my blood, you have no life." I believe that that you are. Yeah. Uh, That's you, what we have here. Yeah, That's but not literally. Know. I believe it spiritually, not literally. No, that's, no he repeated the people left. No, no, Are you no. leaving me too? So you're totally yeah, well, you know, that's why, but because why they left it? Because they figured that was cannibalism. No, the other guy was too hard to teach him, and he repeated and repeated again. Yeah, but he doesn't. Are you going to leave me too? Yeah, but he Read doesn't. John he, 6, that's why I know, I know what you mean. I used to be Catholic, nobody sir. I, I used to be Catholic. Nobody preaches that because they're afraid. Well, sir, we have the sir, truth. The Catholic I, I know, Church is the true Church. No, no, it's sorry, not man. the true Church. Good luck. The true Church is Jesus Christ. That's the true Church. He's the rock, not the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is a man-made religion. Come to Christ only, not to Mary. You got it wrong, sir. Why do you have that statue in front of that church? That's idolatry. You should not have any graven image. Why do you have a statue there in front of the church? That's idolatry. Idolaters will have no part in the kingdom of God. Idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, a lot of priests do believe in abortion. They do believe in euthanasia. They do believe in homosexuality. Did you know that the Pope is trying to make all religion come together? And while Christian is the only 
unique religion, and this Pope is trying to make all religion come together. When Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father, and this Pope is trying to make, to, to say to all religion, you got to make it to heaven. What a lie from the pit of hell. Your Pope is Antichrist. Your Pope is, is going to go end up in hell as well. Imagine trying to tell other religions you're still going to make it to heaven. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Your Pope is wrong. He's heading straight to hell. He agrees that the homosexual should have a family. No, the only unique church is Jesus Christ. He's the only way to make it to heaven. No other religion will save you. And this Pope is trying to tell, yes, the Muslim, the, the Buddhists, or the uh, Mormons, and uh, all the other types of religion will make it to heaven. That's a lie from a pit of hell. Your Pope is a sinner just like anybody else. Why does he go, why does he go and have to go to confession if he's a sinner? Why do you call him a holy man? He's not holy at all. The Pope is not holy. If he sin, he's not a holy man. He's a sinner. If he's supposed to teach other people about how to make it to heaven and not to sin, and yet he's a sinner himself, that's being a, a hypocrite. I'm to Christ only. Christ is the only way. Not through Mary. Mary is not up in heaven. She is dead like anybody else. And why do you pray for her? She cannot hear your prayers. And God hates repetitive prayers. Don't make a big jokes about it, folks. This is serious what you guys are doing. You are not laughing on your day of judgment. And Jesus is going to rebuke you people for the way you treated Mary. She will be offended to put me in the same level as my son. My son has said, Mary said to the servant, do as he, he says. Do as what he says to do. Friends, you need to understand that praying the rosary, praying to Mary, praying to saints and anyone else except to God is idolatry. Dead people can hear your prayers. They don't pray for you and won't pass along your prayers to God. Mary does not get whatever she asks for and does not pray for you. Where does the Bible say she does? Mary was a sinner who needed salvation, just like everyone else. What sins have you committed that you need forgiveness for? Have you ever lied, looked with lust, been covetous, stolen, gotten drunk, taken God's name in vain? How many Catholics in this church or any church or anywhere in the world that says OMG they're blaspheming his name and they don't even realize that they God will not find them guiltless on that day for them to use his name in vain they don't use his name in reverence but in as as a cuss word have you prayed repetition repetitious prayers in Matthew 6 7 talks about it attempt to talk to the dead all of these are sins against the holy god the bible says that god is angry with the wicked every day that's in psalm 7 11. the bible says that god will send liars 
drunkards, thieves, lustful people, covetous people, sorcerers, including those who talk to the dead. Show me in the Bible where it says there's a place called purgatory. You will not find a place called purgatory. And if the priests and all the clergy and all the bishops and cardinals, even the Pope, says there's such a place as purgatory, that is a lie. Liars, all liars will have their part in the lake of fire like the Bible says. And if these priests telling you there's a purgatory and there's no such place, they are lying to you. They are on the way to hell. And that's blasphemy. They are blasphemers to hell forever. There is hope for you though. It's not in confessing to an, a, an earthly priest, but confessing to the great High Priest Jesus Christ Hebrews 5 9 the Jesus of the Bible forgiveness is not in the mass but in the literal body of Jesus which was broken for you and the literal blood of Jesus which was poured out for you you need to come out of the false religion of Roman Catholicism and get your belief from the Bible not from the, the traditions of man God desires for you to be saved but you must repent of your sins forsake them totally and trust in the Jesus in the Bible here there's a lot of people I asked them do they do they still said they said yes we are I said I still said we're all sinners well, if you're sinning, you must repent and forsake your sin and stop sinning. <clears throat> you must trust in the Jesus of the Bible. You will become born again the moment you do this. Then read the Bible and obey it. Follow Jesus Christ, not ungodly man who will lead you to astray. God will never lead you astray only man does you don't need to go through Mary to go to Jesus Christ you go directly to Jesus Christ Jesus Christ says come to me all you who are laborer and are heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for my, I am gentle and lowly in heart for my yoke is easy and my burden is like he didn't say to go see Mary first he says come to me only God demands all man everywhere to repent because there'll be a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man is taught. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God he will abundantly pardon. It's a point of time for a man wants to die and after this comes judgment. Yes, folks, there's only two places. It depends where it's going to end up. Where is your soul going to end up after you die? Heaven or hell? There's no other place. There's no purgatory, ma'am and sir. That's a lie from the pit of hell. They're lying to you. Jesus never mentioned about us a purgatory to his disciple. He mentioned ten times more about hell than 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 any other place. Hell and, and, and heaven. He spoke ten times more about hell than heaven. If there was such a place as purgatory, Jesus would have told you about it. But he hasn't. There's only two places, my friend. Don't think you are, have a second chance. The reason why they say there's a purgatory. You know, that's a bad thing to teach you people to say that. People are going to say, well, I don't need to, 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 to do a lot of things. I could still sin because I have a second chance. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Mercy is only given to you while you're still alive, not after. There's no mercy after, after you die. People will think there's a purgatory. Well, I don't need to, to stop sitting. I'm going to keep living the way I want because I have a second chance. 
That is dangerous, dangerous teaching. Yes, don't forget tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And when you sit together at the table with your family offering, eating the meal, don't forget to say thank you to God for the wonderful meal I'm having today. Beg pardon? Come closer, I can't hear you. I can't hear you, come close. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking to me. Yes. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, don't forget to say thank you for the food that you're gonna have and sit at your table. Big pardon? Have a good day. You believe in Jesus? Pardon? You believe in Jesus? Yes, sir. Are you born again? Are you still sinning? You must stop sinning. If you're still sinning, you're not right with God. And you're not a Christian. You're not a Christian if you're sinning. The Bible said, He who sin is of the devil. It only takes one sin to go to hell, and lying is one of them. And the priests are teaching you, are preaching lies. They tell you things that is not true. It's against what the Bible, of the inspired word of God of the Bible says. It's the opposite of what it's saying. They are lying to you. Jesus says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. It's serious, very serious. Lying is a sin. I it'll, agree. It will take we, you to hell. We will pray for you. Don't pray for me if you're a sinner. The, your, God does. And listen to your prayers if you're a sinner. Read Psalm 5.5. 5. God hates the workers of the sinners. He doesn't listen to the prayers of the sinners. He only hears the prayers of those who have repented with a godly sorrow and a broken, contrite heart. He will not despise you or cast you out. He will listen to your prayers if you are forgiving your sin, you forget, forget, forsake your sin and repent your sin. Come to Christ, my friend. It's the only way. God bless you all. Have yourself a good day. Now, tomorrow is uh, Thanksgiving Day. I hope everybody, once they sit down at their dinner table, after preparing a wonderful meal, uh, they will thank God for the wonderful food they prepare themselves for themselves on that day. And they're all sitting at the table and enjoy the meal that has been prepared for them. And hopefully they will not forget who gave them that food on the table for them. It's God. Yes, God. Thank you, God, for giving us the food that uh, we're having each day so we don't go hungry or thirsty. Tomorrow is a great day to say thanks for our good Lord with the food that he will we will celebrate tomorrow tomorrow's thanksgiving don't forget to say thank you for the for god for that i'm here to spread the good news of the gospel of jesus christ and that's my way of thanking him for what i have become i'm not the same person as i used to be I was a wicked sinner, done a lot of terrible things that I, things that I am ashamed of, 
and for the glory of God who is very patient with me long suffering because in those days when I was doing those things he could have ended my life on that day in those days where I was still sitting and I would have ended up in hell or I will be ending up in hell on my day of judgment because right now nobody's in hell and nobody's in heaven also not even Satan is in hell or his fallen angels this is this here this world is Satan's kingdom Lord Jesus Christ died for you he shed his blood for you he died for the just and for the, for the young justice to reconcile the sinner back to God God so loved the world that gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in it should not perish but have everlasting life he who believes in him is not condemned he who does not believe is condemned already who is not believed in the only begotten son of god jesus christ was manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of the devil the Bible says Jesus died for all, that those to live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. This man Jesus, called Jesus was born of a virgin, a sinless and perfect life, performed miracle and signs and wonders and testing of who he was in the flesh. He laid down of his life to the to lawless man who beat him and bruises him, crucify him. He was dead, he was buried, he had, and he rose from the grave and rose from the dead and defeating death. Yes, depends where your soul gonna end up after you die. We're all gonna die one day. And there's only two destinations. I just hope for you that you are gonna go to heaven. That's why I'm here to tell you about the good news of, the Jesus, of Jesus Christ because he offered you a, a way to escape the sin of death. He sent his son on the cross to die for you, to save you from your sin. Not save you in your sin, but from sin. So in other words, you must stop sinning. <laughs> the Bible says adulterers and adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God. Whoever therefore is a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. And the Bible says the point of man for once died after this comes the judgment. The Bible says mercy and truth, atonement is provided. The Bible says that God commands all men everywhere to repent because this coming a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness this scripture makes it very clear the fruit of your sin the works of the wage of your sin is death it's pretty windy today Praise the Lord. Ride with Christ. Ride with Him. Or oh, for those who are walking, walk with Him. Those who ride in a car, drive with Christ. Do not forget Him. He is still alive. Even though He died on the cross for us, but He rose again. We, one thing I don't understand is why people believe people who are dead. Why don't they believe in the one who's still alive? Like certain religion, like the Islam, they believe in Muhammad. He is dead. How can they believe in him? He's dead. Or the Catholic who believes in Mary, she's dead. They can't hear your prayers. No one's prayer. Uh, 
I'm here today to proclaim to you the message of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, God in flesh, came born of a virgin, who was a sinless perfect in perfect life, proclaimed the message is found in the scriptures. God bless you, sir. Right with Christ. Be born again. You must be born again, Jesus says. Or else, if you're not born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. So what can wash away my son? My sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. What can make me, me or you whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ shed on the cross of Calvary. Jesus died for sinners, the Bible teaches. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, this is good. And accept it in the sight of God your Savior, desire all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus as a ransom for all to be tested in due time. So Christ gave up his life. He took the delivery from your sin, not delivering you for the punishment of your sin, and the guilt and shame of your sin, but from your actual sin. That's what Christ came to do. The Bible says, he who sins is of the devil, is the devil. For the devil has sinned from beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. For this purpose, the Son came, the first part, uh, the purpose for God to came in the flesh that he might destroy the works of the devil. Walk with Christ. Believe in Jesus Christ. He's the only way to make it to heaven. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. But by him. But by through him. Only him. No other. He excludes other religions. His religion Christianity is the only way to make it to heaven through his shed blood. No other man has done what Jesus Christ has done. If anybody can name another person that did what Jesus Christ did on the cross, then I will change my religion. But I will not change my religion because now I know it's Jesus Christ is the only way. He is the only way I believe. There's no other man did the same as what Jesus did. Nobody were able to make signs and wonders, heal the sick and see the blinds and calm the sea or, or, or kill a, a fig tree, curse a fig tree, died the next day, brought a man who was dead in four days in the tomb. No other man has done that, only through Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ did that. Now why would not anybody believe in that, in him? And why do they hate him so much? I don't understand. He's done so much for us and people hate him. He's the most hated man in the whole world. Yes, the most hated man in this whole world is Jesus Christ. What they should hate, they should hate Satan instead. Satan is the one that hates you. He never did anything good for you. All he wants is your soul in hell with him. Please don't believe in him. Don't follow him. Don't be deceived. He's a sinner and he's going to end up in hell as well. He rebelled against God and there's no forgiveness for that guy and his fallen angel. Jesus Christ didn't die on the, on the cross to save him, but only to save us from our sin. Not while we're, we're in sin. Jesus said to the adulterous woman, go and sin no more. So that means you uh, as well as me, go and sin no more. Stop sinning. Or a worse thing might come to you that he said that to the paralytic. 
Yes, it is serious, guys. Your soul values as much should be more valued, more precious for you than anything else in, in your life. Because we're all gonna die one day. That is definitely. That is definite. And it, you, you cannot postpone that appointment you, you're having with Jesus Christ on your day of judgment. Christ wants to set you free. John chapter 8, he who commits sin is a slave to sin, and a slave will not abide for a, in a house forever, but the Son abides it forever. Therefore, if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. So Jesus, see, Jesus Christ wants to set you free from sin, from your sin, from sexual immorality, from drunkenness, from drug use, from homosexuality and transgender confusion, from false religion, from idolatry. Christ wants to set you free. But you got to repent. You got to surrender to God. The Bible says, repent therefore and be converted, that your that your sin might be blotted out. That time of refreshing may might come from the presence of the Lord. Don't you see, he wants to give you time to refresh. He wants you to bless you, uh, blot out your sin, parting you of your sin. sin. But, he but it requires of you to repent and be converted. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him by while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man is taught. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Can you hear that? I will repeat it again. He will abundantly pardon you if you come to him with a broken heart and a godly sorrow and a contrite heart. He will not cast you out. He will not forsake you. He will accept you right there on the spot. If you're real willing to forgive your sin, repent your sin, and give your life to Him and commit your life totally to Him. Right there and then, you are, will be saved. Run with Christ. Walk with Christ. The Bible says, repent. Forsake your sins. Believe and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, or you will likewise perish. Jesus says you must be born again, or you will not see or enter the kingdom of God. He also said that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and without him you cannot come to the Father. No other religions will save you. It is only through Jesus Christ shed blood on the cross. He says you must be baptized to wash away your sins and be born from above to receive the Holy Spirit. You must die with Christ on the cross, my friend. He, he, he must live inside of you and you in Christ. Galatians chapter 2 verses 20 and 21. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself himself for me. Once you have done that, you become a child of God and a saint. And you go on in sin no more. Just like he said to the adulteress who was going to be stoned. What does born again mean? It means to repent, forsake your sins, put your trust in Jesus Christ, 
and the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of you, cleanses you, changes you from the inside out, and you're a new cre creation in Christ. And you will walk in, in the newness of life from there on. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. What is baptism? In Romans chapter 6, verses 1 to 14, it shows you what happens when you get baptized. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin and gra where grace may abound? Certainly not, it says in the Bible. How shall we who died to sin live in any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been un united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his, of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we shall no longer be slave of sin. For he who has died has been freed from sin. Now, if we die with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ has been raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life that he lives, he lives to God. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in this lust. And do not resist or resent your member as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourself to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. Baptism is not law the Roman Catholic teaches you to do. Infant baptism does not count. When they sprinkle the baby with water, what it gets instead is a little wet bath. It is a waste of time. When we ask the Roman Catholic, are they born again? They will always say, I've been baptized when I was a baby. In that point in time, the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of me. In that comes confirmation. I confirm that I agree with that, that the Holy Spirit is living inside of me. <laughs> Hello? How are you? Good, you? Not bad. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. And so is Christmas. And Jesus Christ is coming too. Coming. Yes. He is coming. 
pretty soon. But before he comes, we have to go through a seven year tribulation. That time is ahead for us all. Worst time. Yes. If you people who would read the Bible, you will find out what is the, the tribulation that's coming and it's gonna last for seven years. What is it? What is this? Well, if you guys don't know, it's the Antichrist. A man who's gonna rule the whole world. Yes, he'll have the power to rule the whole world with one religion and one government. That is coming soon. And it's going to be a terrible one who's going to ask us to wear his number of the beast. You want to wear a number of the beast? If you don't wear it, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. In other words, you'll be starving to death or will not have any jobs or will not be able to get yourself medically fixed up if you have any problem that you need an, a doctor to operate on you. What's going to happen for that person who is going to suffer like a terrible sickness and he's in pain and he's a Christian and he needs to go to the doctor and the doctor says, well, you have the number of the beast? Well, I can't operate on you if you don't have that number of the beast. What are you going to do? You mustn't take that number of the beast. If you take that number of the beast, it's like worshiping him. And we're not supposed to worship him. The only one we should worship is God only. He's the only one you should worship. There's no other man that you should, no other God you, you should worship. For a Christian, it's going to be very tough that day, those days. Yes, ride with Christ, walk with Christ. Believe in Jesus, love Jesus. He died on the cross for you, save you from your sin. Now, why won't you love him? It's the same thing as a person who, who save you from your drowning. And don't you want to be his friend? Aren't you not going to say thank you for saving your life from drowning? Yes, you want him to be your friend forever. Then why aren't you not like that with Jesus Christ? He saved you from drowning from your sin. Boy, were we ever in almost drowning it. We were really deep in the water of our sin. We were really deep in the water of our sin. And God, he came and rescued me, took me out of there before I went too deep that there was no way to come back out or come back up. Yeah, we need a savior. We do need a savior. Born again means means to be born up from above. The Holy Spirit comes down, lives and cleans you inside out and become a new creature in Christ. And you walk a different life from there and out. The reason why I'm out here today is to preach the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Most of you probably never heard of it. You should, because it is very important to know why I am here today. You ask, it is because, firstly, I love God and I want to glorify Him, praise Him, and worship him and want to offer my sincere thanks for what he has done for me secondly i love my neighbor as myself and i want the best for them in the afterlife and want to prepare them for so they will be ready to face jesus christ on their day of judgment that is why is it not what Jesus says that we should all do as Christians? In Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 to, 36 to 4, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul 
and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. On these two commandments depends all the law and the prophets. As a true Christian in Christ, who is a Bible believer, Bible obeying, born again Christians, it is my responsibility and duty to spread the good news of God to everyone who is out here and make them disciples of Christ. You all desperately needed to hear his words, which he's commanded me to do, and that is why I am going to do in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and, all, and teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. This great commission given to me, it is to be a witness of God's love. He has oh, to all men, and to tell them that he is offering an amazing free gift of grace, of salvation to every one of you. It is available right now as I speak. All you must do is accept it and believe. Take this offer now. Salvation is today, not tomorrow. You do not know when you are going to die. You could die today, tonight, or tomorrow. Time is running short. Your life is but a vapor that appears for a little time and then it vanishes away. Jesus Christ wants you to have everlasting life and be with him for he loves so much that he gave his only son on Calvary that you could be forgiven from your sins. And today's world for street preachers in the way they evangelize and compare with the street preachers of the past, it is more difficult to make anyone see the truth. When people live in a country that was dominant, dominant Christians have buildings of worship that are all Christians. The choice was to be a Christian. There were less arguments towards the preachers from the listeners. But who is God and what he has done for the world? But today, it is with so many different buildings of worship, it is not so easy to accept and believe the teaching of street preachers of today who are Bible believers, Bible obey, born again Christians. Now, when we go to main shopping streets or, or anywhere else in our city, we wonder what country we are in. We have been overwhelmed with immigrants from West Indies, from Pakistan, from Africa, from the Middle East, and many other countries as well who are now living alongside with us with different belief that we can truly say we are now in an international country. It has been, been like, like that for so many years that many Christians have, have easily been influenced to believe in all kinds of other religions that no one knows what or who to believe now because of that, many have lost their faith and are no longer Christians, but, they, but atheists or agnostics or believe other kinds of religion. This is make it very difficult for street preachers to bring anyone to Christ or for those who have left, bring them back to Christ. And by reminding them what Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, 
and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. It is our only hope we have left in trying to bring them back by changing their minds. For those who do not know which is the, the which is the true one is by telling them there is no other religion that will save them, but only Jesus Christ can. He he alone, who who died on the cross, who was buried, he was rose again, and he is the only word true Savior for all mankind. Now, how do we? prepare for that what is our defense and against that pressure how to convince them of that that is a good question there is a very simple answer to it all and that is to tell them the unique uniqueness of Christ that he, he is one of a kind there is no other like him that he cannot be compared of a, with any other religion as one way that can be used to, re, to prepare to make the pressure that will be on us But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with a strife we are healed. All oh, we are like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own ways. And the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. Anyway, folks, you know, tomorrow is Thanksgiving Day. Hopefully that you will think about that day when you're all sitting together with your friends and family members at the dinner table, prepared by someone and offer you thanks for the food that you're having. Get together and say it willfully and with reverence. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this is the place four years ago I was baptized in this river. Yes. In October 9th, 2018. Today is October 9, 2022. It's the river, river called Rideau River where I was baptized. Finally, I came to Christ. Gave up my life for Christ. Changed my life around. I'm a new creature. I went underwater. I was buried. And my sinful life, dead, dead to my sinful life, came out of the water, I rose again as a new creature. Became a new creature in Christ. What a glorious day that was that day, and ever since I haven't changed. I haven't gone back to my old ways. I stayed firm and committed to my, to my new conversion. What I am now, I'm a born-again Christian. Bible believer, Bible obeying, born-again Christian. Yes, thank God. Thank you, Old Father. Thank you very much for your wonderful gift. I'm especially being patient with me for what I have done in the past. I'm 72 years old. You know, this place used to be a beach. I used to come here often when I was a young guy. I came here with my friend, come and swim here during the summertime. Many time I came here, and I do remember many times I got sunburned, especially on my back. Boy, was it ever painful. I was in the sun too long, because in those days, I guess it was not important to put in any sunscreen. Well, anyway, you're, you're a kid, you were a kid, and 
You're only with another friend. You didn't bring any of that stuff with you. But anyway, yes, this is the river. Yes, I'm a new person. I'm walking with Christ. And tomorrow <coughs> is October 10th and it's Thanksgiving Day. I decided to come on my day of my <coughs> second birth, my baptism, to offer my thanks to, to God for what He has done for me. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the wonderful gift of salvation. I know tomorrow will be as Thanksgiving, but I decide to come here and offer my thanks for that reason. For opening my eyes and tell me what you say in the book of the Bible, and which it was inspired by God, really revealed to me a lot of things I should have known. And thank God I read it. I really noticed a lot of things that I was told is not true and completely different than what the Bible says. Yes, now I'm a Bible believer, Bible boy, born again Christian. And I follow Christ. I listen to his word and I walk with him. Thank you, Lord. Help me, Father, to keep doing it, persevere and endure. And today until the day of my death that I will continue for the days that are yet to come. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. It was a cold day that day too. It was a sunny day like today, and I think it was about the same temperature as it is today. And getting to the water, get yourself baptized, it was quite a it was quite cold to go in there with just normal summer clothes. But anyway, I decided to buy these fisherman pants 